Hello, this is Buddy Moore here. I wanted to uh, show you the W1209WK thermostat temperature control unit. Uh, I bought this on eBay for about $4. Um, so there, it is not expensive if you don't mind waiting for it to be shipped from China. Um, I'm doing this video because I haven't been able to find too much on, in the way of instruction on this unit. There's a similar unit, the W1209, I've got one here, and it sells for about a dollar and a half less. And there's some good videos on this, but there are, um, even though they pretty much do the same thing, there are some differences in programming and using them. So this, uh, this unit is, it runs on 12 volts. The, um, these first two connectors here are uh, for the power supply, 12 volt power supply. Now I'm not saying that it has to control something that is 12 volts. The um, uh, relay is, is completely separate. So, uh, but you do need a 12 volt power supply. Um, I used a, uh, something similar to a, a phone charger that I wasn't using anymore. And I cut off the connector. Just make sure that the positive goes to the positive, the negative goes to the negative. And this came with these, um, looks like hand printed on here. Um, when, if, if you're using an old phone charger or something, one of the two wires should have a white stripe on it and um, that will be the positive. The other two connectors here are act as a switch. Uh, they're controlled by this relay. Um, so when, um, uh, when the, the switch is open, uh, these are not connected. When the switch is, when the circuit is closed, then these two are connected. So you would, you would wire it up in the same way you'd wire up a light switch. I plan to use this for a, um, uh, for the, um, temperature source on an incubator to hatch chicken eggs. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to use a couple of, um, 110 volt light bulbs. Um, connected to this. The other wire coming from this is the temperature sensor. It is waterproof. You can, it has um, maybe a foot or so of wire. So um, you have a little freedom as, as far as where to place that. All right, let's, um, let's power this up. See, it has a nice bright LED display. Um, this is, uh, it, it defaults to Celsius. Um, one reason that I got, th I'm using this instead of this one for my incubator, it, it's really cosmetic. Uh, this I, is, I can cut a rectangular hole in the front of my incubator and just snap it in. Um, uh, with with no exposed electronics. Another thing is that uh, this gives me the option to display the temperature in Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. Uh, the other one is, is strictly Celsius. And I can do the math, but, but it's just a, a personal preference. So when here's this this defaults to when you turn it on it's it's set up in cooling mode if, if you're operating some kind of cooling unit or fan but of course for my incubator i'm going to want it for heating but i'll just show you a little bit about i'm just going to put my hand on here and warm this up the top shows the current temperature the bottom shows the set temperature you see when it passed 77 this uh, little LED came on there. When that's on, the, the relay also closes the circuit to turn on your, uh, in my case, uh, the heat source. But of course, I'm going to have to program this to um, heat instead of cool. Here is, um, 
Here's a chart showing the program settings. And uh, I had a little trouble finding these. Um, the, the person uh, that I bought this from didn't send them originally. And uh, when I asked, he sent me a link to a, a document that um, was partly in probably Chinese, partly in English, but the English part did not appear to be uh, written by someone whose first language is English. So I uh, went through the, the directions and uh, hopefully it made them a little easier to read. I plan on um, uh, posting this online, posting a link to this so, so you can get it along with some other instructions. Uh, this is my first YouTube video, um, so, um, but I'm sure I can figure out how to, how to post a link on, uh, with my video. Uh, the uh, program codes are P0 through P8. Um, P0 will uh, allow you to switch it from cooling mode to heating mode, which is what I want to do. P1 is the return difference. Now, the return difference is the, um, the difference in temperature between when the, uh, in this case, the heating source turns on and when it turns off. Uh, in my case, I'm going to set this at uh, 0 0.5 uh, because I want the temperature in the incubator to stay between 99.5 degrees and 100 degrees and so hopefully if, if I set the temperature at 100 degrees and set my return difference at 0.5 then when the temperature drops below 99.5 it'll turn on the heat source when the temperature reaches 100 degrees it'll turn it off um, there are some other options that are available I don't really plan on using those and for my instance but they they might help the um, uh, delay start might be useful uh, if I understand it correctly it just sets a time limit between uh, the relay turning on and off uh, if you were in a situation where it turned on and off rapidly you might want to put a delay uh, start on there um, p7 switches between Celsius and Fahrenheit but as you saw, there's also a button on the front that does the same thing. Uh, P8 is uh, factory reset, but this also can be done by holding uh, the two buttons on the front. There are only two buttons on this thing. Um, pressing both these buttons at the same time for, I didn't time it, but maybe five or ten seconds. So let's get to doing some programming. I'm going to turn it this way. There are times when you have to press both buttons at the same time, and they're very serious about both of them being at the same time. Um, if you're a little off, it, it, um, it'll mess things up. So I'm going to um, press and hold set for five seconds. I'm, I'll, let me talk through it first, because if you don't do this quickly, It'll, it'll make you start over. But I'm going to press and hold set for five seconds to enter the programming mode. From the programming mode, I can use the two buttons to navigate to, in this case, P0. Uh, then I'll pre press both buttons at the same time again to confirm my selection. Uh, and then the current selection will flash. In this case, uh, the C will flash for cooling mode. I'll use the uh, uh, set button to move it up to heating mode, so an H will appear, and then I'll press both buttons at the same time to confirm that choice. So let's see if this works now. Okay, so I've got P0, now the, the C is flashing, going to move it to H, press both at the same time, it's solid, 
and that should do it. And then I'll wait a, a second. Now I'm in heating mode. Now the, the other thing I want to do is to set my return difference. And this will work the same way, uh, except I will be in P1 mode. So let's, let's try this. Hold set. Okay, P0, moved up to P1. Now set at 2.0, I want to move it down to 0.5. And then I'll press both buttons to confirm. And there we have it. So the only thing left to do now is to set my temperature. So I'm going to press set. And now the set temperature is flashing and I'm going to move this up to 100 degrees. And then I don't have to confirm that. If I just wait a few seconds, it'll um, stop. So there we have it. Um, now, I do recommend that you test this out before you use it in a critical situation. Get you a, a, a cup of, of hot water and just dip the, the, the sensors waterproof, dip it in the water and see how it reacts because I, I've seen several variations on these instructions and the, the, the information in the chart. And so yours might be a little bit different. So, so uh, test it out. One other thing. Um, the, um, I didn't really talk about the P4, the temperature correction. Uh, what, what that does is if your, if your temperature is off on this, you can, you can, uh, add or subtract, uh, temperature to it. So a good way to check this is to dip your sensor and take some ice water that is really, really slushy, it's almost ice, it's, it's, it, and um, just very melty ice, and put this uh, sensor in the water right next to the ice. If you're in Fahrenheit, your, your temperature should read 32 degrees, or if you're in Celsius, it, I think it should read zero. So let me know if you have any questions and uh, i hope this helps